and welcome to another video. So today I have a Fox Novo HDMI capture device. It has a 4K video loop through as well as a 1080p capture capability. Um, just ordered it off of Amazon as usual. I will post a link to it below. Uh, let's open it up. So nothing fancy here. This comes with this uh, capture device. There's something clicking in there. Oh, I guess uh, there's a USB-C to USB-A uh, adapter. Not really sure why that is in there. Um, oh, I guess it could be to connect to a MacBook because MacBooks don't have a USB-A connector. So that's actually a smart thing to include. Uh, I appreciate that I did not know that was gonna come in there. Plus, you can use it for other purposes too. All right, comes with an HDMI cable. I wonder if this is a HDMI 2.1 or one of those old school HDMIs. It's quite a thick cable. Um, not really sure if there's a way to tell. Um, probably just a HDMI 1.4 or one of those older cables. Um, it is quite thick. So quite a hefty um, woven, polyester woven top outside. It's about three feet in length. Okay, let's see what else is in the box here. Here's the manual. This is just some support information. The manual here shows the ports on there. Let's go through the actual device. So it's a USB 3.0 connector, comes with a USB 3.0 to USB-C connector here. Um, HDMI in, HDMI out. So this is your source. This is your TV. Uh, there is a separate mic and audio input, which I do appreciate. Um, I think uh, this is if you're streaming video games and you want to use your uh, microphone headset, that's pretty good to have. Uh, this audio is too if you want to audio out to like a, um, you know, speakers, separate speakers or headphones. That's probably what that's for. And there's two little dots here, which I'm not entirely sure what they are. Uh, let's see what the manual says they are. So, the manual actually doesn't mention the dots. I wonder if it's like a reset button. Yeah, I don't see anything on the manual about what those are. Could be a reset button. The manual is in two languages. I don't really know what language that is. Okay, so it looks like that might be German, and then this is English. I thought it was supposed to come with a data cable. So if you look here, it says a, look, it actually says one times type C to USB adapter. So, okay. So it doesn't actually need a data cable given that it already has that on there connected permanently. Okay, so I have a Roku device that I'm gonna plug it in to the HDMI in. I have my OB Studio installed. I'm gonna have to set up the device and uh, we'll see how it works. Okay, so I have the capture device connected to my USB 3.0 port. I have the Roku device connected and uh, OB Studio on and here you can see it come on. There we go. So, as you can see, it works just fine. I just use the default settings on my Op Studio. Um, let's see if what we can uh, change. So obviously you can change the saturation, things like that. You can resolution wise, you can put in custom resolution to 1080p as the highest, which makes sense given that the device can only capture 1080p. FPS 60 is the highest. Um, 
So if you want something to record at 4K, 120 FPS or something like that, this is not the device for you. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at device default. Color space, you can do whichever one you want. Um, obviously you wanna go to the settings uh, or go to, the, go to the manual, but I just left it at default to see, see how it works and works just fine. Um, anyways, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you on the next.